just have to find this one Pokemon in one second. Pikachu! Oh, just this one. I think that's Pikachu. Hello, everyone. So today we will talk about Pokemon Go or the four billion dollar business behind it. So let's go. All right, today we will talk about augmented reality, the software company startup Niantic from San Francisco and how they built a $4 billion business with Pokemon Go as well as the new game Harry Potter and Unite Wizard of the Magical something, I don't know. Anyway, so let's start with the company Niantic. Niantic is a software company in San Francisco and they were an internal startup from Google and with the time they basically uh, they, they separated uh, because it was uh, so successful and they launched already five different uh, games and apparently Pokemon Go alone was a two billion dollar product and it was just hyped everywhere which was just uh, ridiculous. It went viral around the world, you know, people were like running around and trying to get Pokemons, you know, so uh, it was it was just, just amazing. And uh, so actually how this technology work is basically that uh, you are having your mobile phone and uh, from your mobile phone, you basically see Pokemons through your screen but you still see the surrounding and this is actually the thing about AR and why AR will be a, a big big thing technology wise for us in the future because you basically then integrate this technology into into smart glasses so AR can be so huge because it can be later on integrated in smart glasses and other products and basically imagine that you're standing in front of a supermarket product uh, shelf and uh, your doctor say, hey, you have to reduce this and this integrants, but uh, without, uh, you know, looking on uh, 100 different products on the back when you see the integrants, basically your smart glasses uh, gives you the right uh, products that you can order or take with you to, to make the right dishes. So it can be very, very huge also in the medicine. Doctors can use it for operations. You know, when you do trainings, the people can use this for, for, for train themselves to, you know, be in front of a product or a machine and then the smart glasses see, show you remove this screw and so on so it can be huge anyway another uh, funny part about uh, Pokemon Go so basically all the people in the world together used uh, Pokemon Go and you know they went uh, a lot of distance to search for the Pokemons and they made 4.6 billion kilometers in this game alone and this is just it's it's, it's just ridiculous 4.6 billion kilometers okay so this is this is this is ridiculous Niantic is specialized in those games so basically their new and fifth product is uh, the new Harry Potter Unite uh, game which just launched uh, this month in June 2019 it was first a test beta version in, in New Zealand and I think starting on the 20th of June they just released the worldwide uh, worldwide version and uh, apparently it's uh, it's not uh, that uh, successful like Pokemon uh, but it can be also very very hard for a company after a super hit to you know to to catch up you know with the new Harry Potter game they just uh, uh, reached like 15% uh, of the downloads they reached for Pokemon Go and around 5% of the revenue so you see it's very very hard to catch up for this viral thing I mean same you see for for youtubers when they have a viral video they try to you know catch it you know I'm still waiting for my viral video so <laughs> anyway guys i love by the way if you can subscribe and hit the bell and like 
and comment if you want to know something i will answer it and uh, coming uh, and speaking about a little bit more about nyantic software the name is just very very hard to pronounce Nyan nyantic nyantic software <laughs> So Niantic Software just raised in the uh, Series C investment around $245 million for development, uh, marketing, I guess, uh, R&D, and they valued at this uh, investment round at $4 billion. So it's a $4 billion business, guys. It's, all, it's already a unicorn, yeah, a unicorn like that. The CEO actually said that there's uh, so far no plans to go public, so it remains a private company. Uh, it will live from, from the investment and also from the, from the success of the games. It's just the fifth product that they, they launched, so it's a quite, a, quite a young company. They, they, they found it, as I said, in 2010, so nine year old, and on average, uh, I might have said it already, but on average, uh, Overnight success takes 18 years, so still nine years to go. And I, I really like the concept of them when they're releasing a new product. So basically you see that they try to get something that is uh, worldwide known, like Pokemon, like Harry Potter and so on. And uh, they use that to create hype around the game and uh, then they release it and uh, then uh, they had this hype on Pokemon Go so let's see how it works on Harry Potter. Harry Potter obviously you know a worldwide known name in the gaming industry or in the film and book industry so it will be interesting how this develops and I thank you for watching this video please subscribe hit the bell like comment share and Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and don't forget the grass is greener on the other side.